imagine that you are in the city of Medina and the martyrdom of Our Lady Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam has just occurred and Our Lady Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam she was only a small girl when her mother passed away. I want you to imagine that you are in the house of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim wassalam, and Sayyidah Zainab is asleep in her bed. Imam Ali alayhi salam, he has gone to bury his heart, Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam tonight. I want you to imagine that Sayyidah Zainab, she's just woken up from a dream and she's crying and she's saying, where is my mother? Where is my father? How would you comfort her in that moment? At that moment, at that tragic moment, every child wants to be reassured that her family, her mother, her father will be by her side. In terms of being there at that moment next to Sayyidah Zainab, I think I would just hold her so tight, so tight, as tight as I could and reassure her that, reassure her that, you know, there's someone with her to mourn and grieve and that she's not alone. I would wipe her tears for her, wipe her tears, put her on my lap like every child deserves to after. I would just, I just know I would just hold her as tight as I could to try and wipe her tears and to try remove the sorrow from her heart as much as I can. It hurts the heart to see a child in so much pain. And this is Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam. She is Umm al-Masaib, Jabal al-Sabr, al-Aqila al-Kubra. It would just the feeling of holding her and comforting her, what a beautiful thing that would be. Now, I want you to picture that it's many years later and now you are in the city of Kufa and the Lion of Allah, Amir al muhminin Asad Allah Al-Ghalib, Imam Ali alayhi salam, he has just taken his final breath on the 21st night of, of Ramadan. And Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam, she was so close to Imam Ali. He, he was a mother and a father to her. What would you say to her in that time of such sorrow and grief? To know that Sayyidah Zainab from such a young age went through such a tragedy, saw such a thing that a child could bear to see or endure. At this stage I just would have wished that I was in Sayyidah Zainab's position and to not have known that a single tear had come down her eyes. To know the pain that she carried, you, at that point you would want to do anything to remove that pain. You would do anything to not see a single tear come down her eyes. At that point, knowing that she lost her father, I, I don't know what I would have done. I don't know. Just to know that your lady went through such pain, and that was not it, and that her pain was to be continued. You don't know what to do. SubhanAllah. May the whole world be sacrificed for a smile on the sorrowful lips of Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam. <laughs> as difficult as this is, my sister, I now want you to imagine that you are on the plains of Karbala <laughs> and it's the 10th day of Muharram in the year 61 after Hijra. <laughs> Imam al Hassan alayhi salam was martyred years previously, and Sayyidah Zainab witnessed that. Abu al Fadl al Abbas, he has fallen too. 
and his body is lying by the Farat. And now Abba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam has turned to Sayyidah Zainab and told her, Bring forth my horse so I may ride into battle. Imagine that Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam has turned to you and said, Give me the reins of the horse of Imam al Hussein so I can give the horse to him. How would you feel? How would you feel? Knowing that by giving it to say the Zainab, knowing that the tragic event and what's going to happen next, I would have tried to prevent it. Knowing what was going to happen to say the Zainab after, what was going to happen to the children, I would have tried to prevent it and not give it to them. I would have done anything. To prevent him off sin from going. <laughs> prevent him from giving it to Sayyidah Zainab. I'll tell her now I'll stand in front of her. I'll fall to her feet and tell her not to give it to Imam Hussein. <laughs> to prevent him from going. <laughs> I will never forget the words of Sayyidah Zainab on that day when she took the reins of the horse of Abba Abdullah and she said how cold must my heart be that I give the horse to my brother so that he may ride to his death <laughs> my dear sister now you are standing on the streets of Sham and everyone around you is celebrating it is like a day of Eid. But you can see that caravan of the Ahlul Bayt being paraded through the streets in chains. The blessed face of Sayyidah Zainab is being slapped. The whips of Shimmer are on her back. The men are poking swords and spears into the waist of the granddaughter of the Prophet. If you were standing in that crowd and you saw that, what do you think you would do? When I think about it, it comes to a point where I'm so glad I wasn't there to witness such an event. But if I was there, if I was alive, if I was that true lover, that true loyal companion of the Hellbait, Seeing them in such a state, I would go in front of every attack that they tried to attack Sayyidah Zainab. Sayyidah Raqay, every time they tried to attack her, I would go in front. The more they hit me, the more I would stand up and try to defend the Elevate. All the chains that were around Zainab Abedin, Imam Zainab Abedin, I would go and tell them to chain me. I would prevent them from laughing, from attacking the Elevate. Even if it was meant for me to die on that path, to die on that day. That would have been an honor for me just to not see such a tragic thing happen to the blessed family of the Prophet. I would have wished to die on that day. To have tried to do as much as I can on that day, get attacked, get beaten, get killed, slaughtered, be anything on that day, but not to see what happened when they entered. <laughs> I know this is so hard and painful for you to talk about. My dear sister, we all feel the same pain in our hearts as the lovers of Sayyidah Zainab. But one thing we must remember despite these tragedies is that we have so much to be hopeful for. And that hope comes in the Avenger of Karbala. Imam Zaman, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten his reappearance on the earth. We all want to be companions of Imam Mahdi, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that opportunity. What qualities and lessons have you learnt from Our Lady Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam 
that you would like to show to our imam, the imam of our time? One of the key characteristics <coughs> is Sayyidah Zainab's bravery. As part of Imam Mehdi's companion, he's going to want brave soldiers to stand by his side. Late see Sayyidah Zainab, she defines bravery. There is no other woman in this world that defines bravery and patience as well as Sayyidah Zainab. So when Imam Mehdi comes, I will tell him that I have learned to be brave. I will stand up. In this world today, so many circumstances, so many sacrifices you have to make in this world today. Whether it's to do with your hijab, whether it's to do with your prayer, whether it's to speak out against the enemies, whether it's to... So many characteristics we have learned from Sayyidah Zainab that we've applied today. And when Imam Sahib Zaman comes, I will tell him that if I am loyal enough, I will tell him that I've learnt bravery and I will stay standing brave as one of your soldiers along with being patient. She has taught us patience and when he comes I will tell him that if we are still alive today it's from being patient, it's from being taught that patience from Sayyidah Zainab that we are here today waiting for you every second for you to come back. I think patience and bravery is one of the key and being modest our modest today in today's society is so hard to stay on that path. So many people losing their path. But every time you recall that tragic event that Sayyidah Zainab went through and still, despite everything, her hijab, her abaya stayed on her head, proves to us today that we can do it in this very world. We can do it today and we will wait for Imam Mahdi to be proud to look at us with such a state, with such an abaya, with such a hijab firm on our head. Mm -hmm. We will explain these characteristics I think there's more than one lesson that Sayyidah Zainab has taught us today that we should still carry on to apply so that we do not delay the appearance of Imam Sahib Zaman. <laughs> خدا کند که بیایی خدا کند تو نور غیر نوایی خدا Oh